opinions and stories around the game we love told by your favorite storytellers. Stay up to date with all things cricket. Subscribe to Crick Buzz's YouTube channel and press that bell icon now. Now then, the Kolkata Knight Riders is a very interesting team to watch. Ever since those two titles that they had under Gautam Gambhir, they've sniffed around but never really came very close. Then in 2021, they turned things around in half a season. In the latter half in the UAE, they were on fire. Ended up as the runners-up of the 2021 season. Then ahead of the mega auction, they let go of Dinesh Karthik. Their regular captain, Oin Morgan, as well. They had to rebuild. How are the KKR looking ahead of IPL 2022? Let's have a look. Every team ahead of the mega auction was handed an option to retain a maximum of four players. And KKR's four choices were rather interesting. Let's have a look. There was Venkatesh Ayer who went from obscurity to superstardom in the span of not only a full season but just half a season. He started opening the batting for the Kolkata Knight Riders, lent them a few overs with the ball and suddenly he was a superstar. A superstar who got propelled to the Indian team as well. Where he did play a different role, that of a finisher. But come this season for the KKR, they'd want him back as an opener. Then there was Parun Chakravarti, the mystery bowler, who's blown hot, blown cold. Does the mystery still remain? Will remain to be seen in IPL 2022. Then there's the Caribbean duo of Andre Russell and Sunil Narayan. Andre Russell does the unthinkable on the cricket field. Only a very few cricketers across the world can do what Andre Russell can. But his injury has been a big issue in the past few seasons. With that hulkish figure for this Caribbean all-rounder, KKR would want and would keep their fingers crossed that he remains fit and continues to deliver the firepower that only Muscle Russell can. Then there's Sunil Narayan. Every time you write him off, he comes roaring back. In the second half of IPL 2021, he was brilliant on those pitches in Sharjah, which aided him. How much will he be able to turn things in KKR's favour? Remains to be seen. They did go into the auction, remember, without a captain. Let's have a look at how they spent their money in building the squad. Now, they've of course zeroed in on Treyas Ayer as their captain, but there are some dark horses in that squad to watch out for as well. There's Mohammad Nabi, who can be Shakib's replacement. Then there's Shamira Karuna Ratne, the Russell Insurance of sorts. Then there's Anukul Roy, a floater bat, who's a fantastic fielder and can also give you two and three good overs of slow left-arm bowling as well. Let's have a look then at the top buys for the Kolkata Knight Riders in this auction. The first one has to be Shreyas Ayer, their new leader. Can he sow the seeds for a champion side in KKR? With the bat, he's got great form. Even as a leader in the Delhi Capitals, he's shown a lot of courage and maturity. Can he transform that into a title for the Kolkata Knight Riders? All of KKR fans across the world would hope that he does. Then there's Pat Cummins. He's a buyback at half the price. KKR looked very solid even without Pat Cummins in the last season. How much will he be able to contribute? Will his role change this time around? Will be very interesting to see. Then there's Ajinkya Rahane. It's an intriguing case. Will he warm the bench or do the KKR management have some sort of a role for him in their minds? KKR had picked up Alex Hales in the auction for his base price of 1.5 crore. However, Hales opted out and KKR replaced him with Aaron Finch who went unsold earlier. Finch has captained Australia to their maiden T20 World Cup title in November last year. And despite boasting a very solid international record, success has eluded him in the IPL, where he has done the jersey of eight teams, with KKR being his ninth IPL franchise. Can he turn things around for them? Time will tell. What are the strengths then of this KKR squad? One is bowling options are plenty. That number six bowler shouldn't be a worry for KKR for a very long time. You can look at Venkatesh Ayer, he can give you good quality overs. You can look at Nitish Rana, he can give you those overs as well. So, number six bowler shouldn't be a worry. Then, there's Stress Ayer. He comes into that number three slot. He's in the form of his life right now. And when you're doing well as a batter, your instincts may kick in as a captain. That may just be a great package for the Kolkata Knight Riders. As for the concerns for the Kolkata Knight Riders, one is they don't have a solid Indian wicketkeeper in their ranks. If look at Sam Billings as a permanent wicketkeeper, then he blocks one overseas slot in that playing 11. What if his form dips? If they look at Sheldon Jackson then, the 35-year-old wicketkeeper. Then there's also the concern with the injury of Andre Russell. There's always that threat looming large. Do they have backup plans ready for Andre Russell? Will remain to be seen. Let's have a look at the potential playing 11 for the Kolkata Knight Riders then. The openers can be Venkatesh Iyer and Aaron Finch. Shreyas Iyer can bat number three. 
Then the middle order will be Nitish Rana, Sheldon Jackson, and Andre Russell. Then there's Sunil Narayan, Pat Cummins, Umesh Yadav, Shivam Mavi, and Varun Chakravarti who complete the bowlers. As for the schedule, KKR opened their campaign in the season opener versus the CSK at 1 KD on the 26th of March. And then in the GG Derby, the Gotham Gambi Derby, they host the Lucknow Super Giants at the MCA Stadium in Pune on 7th May. KKR's last regular season fixture will also be against the LST on the 18th of May. There's a new captain, there's new blood in this KKR squad, but there's also deep rooted old war horses in that squad as well. Can 2022 be the year for the Kolkata Knight Riders? Can they do Kor Bolo or Bojit this time around? Go a step further than 2021. What say, KKR fans? <laughs>